Welcome to cop time. We've got thieves and crooks. He's got a big old gun. You know, he's going to throw the book. This is cop time. Welcome to the cop time. Watch it bring you to your knees, knees, knees. Hello. Welcome to cop time, where I, Deputy Combs, talk about my life on the beat, where I protect you civilians from the thinly veiled, hateful, just, ugh, too much to take threat of street crime on your lives every day. Now, today, I had to deal with some, Chief tells me to call them suspects, but these human pieces are just scumballs. I, I suspect the Chief. I really do. He knows something. He's in on... I've said too much. No. Okay. Well, I was following up on 311, dealing with some teenagers. <sighs> Grow up. I went to the war. What did you do? <sighs> teenagers smoking what you liberal scientists call marijuana. It's the devil's drug. We all know it. Stop trying to hide it behind your fancy words. We know what it is. We know what it does. Well, this one teenager, this smartass, he just blows it right in my face. Like, I don't know. Like, you aren't even old enough to smoke. You know that, son? I told him that. I told him, you know that, son? He just smiled. His big old stupid smile. Like I don't matter. Like I didn't go through two weeks of training to get this badge. Well, it's almost a badge. It will be soon. When that damn cheat, he knows something. I know he knows something. No, it's okay. It's okay. Chief can't stop me. I'm going to do my job. Well, I go to try to confiscate it, and he damn eats the thing. Eats that whole, what, a, a joint. He eats a joint, puts it in his mouth, swallows it down to his belly, and then just smiles again. Like, oh God, like, what are you going to do? So I punch him in his damn belly, right in his belly, and he throws it up. And I'm like, alright, I didn't do shit, like, Maybe I hit you, maybe I didn't. I mean, it's on my police cam, but I have control of that. So, so I put it in my little plastic baggie, and I haul him in. And then Chief tells me I can't do that. What? I responded to a call. I, I don't know who called it in. I mean, that's not my business. Someone just said there were some teenagers, there was some fire, there's some smoke. I did what I had to do. He was, he was laughing at me. Laughing. No. Not allowed to do that. I looked and I saw it wasn't technically against the law to, to laugh at a police, well, a, a deputy. I mean, it's, all right, well, technically it's not as fancy and I don't have as many, I don't know, privileges, I guess, if you're going to call it, going to call it that, but he laughed at me, right in my face, and that chief, he laughed at me too, the chief, the kid, the other kid, I didn't really, I don't know if he did anything, he was just kind of standing there, he had a Sprite, I don't know, maybe it wasn't Sprite, maybe it was vodka, which also would have been illegal, Cop time is getting harder and harder to do with this damn chief on my ass telling me I'm not really a cop. I'm technically still in high school and I was on a ride along and I mean I took the car. Yeah, I took the car. Like, because I heard there was a 311. Maybe that was a band on the radio. I don't know. I mean, 
Why are you gonna have two radios playing? One with like horrible crimes like arson and uh, like other crimes that people do, and another with some band from the '90s playing like uh, "Amber Is a Color of Your Vertigo." I I don't know how it went. I wasn't listening. I was responding. I was doing what I had to do. Man. And now he says I can't do cop time anymore because I'm not a cop. Like, I had to go through more training than like, watching that video. And it was a cool video too. Like, cops running and, and chasing people. Okay, it might have been an episode of Cops. I don't know. I'm not one of your liberal scientists. Man, I can't believe that kid laughed at me. I knew him. His name's Eric. He's kind of mean to me sometimes. He made fun of my glasses, my mustache. How you gonna make fun of somebody's mustache? You know who else has a mustache? Uh, Jesus. And I guess, well, he had like the beard too, but I mean, I can't, I can't grow that. That's, that's tough. Like it gets all like stringy down there. And I don't know. Yeah. I can grow this mustache on the top of my lip. And I bought these glasses from CVS. The woman at the counter said, you know what? Those make you look like glorious. And I believed her. I really did. But now, I just don't know what to believe. 